your angel is saying to you today. These attributes are very important and cause favor with him and his people. The Father wants us to be encouraged today in knowing that he will teach us how to live life in favor and good reputation. My child, never forget the things I have taught you. Store my commands in your heart. Type 1111 to claim it. God wants you to be totally dependent on him in every area of your life. A life of remaining should be your pursuit. You can produce nothing apart from God. Continually invite him into your world and ask him to help you, guide you, and strengthen you. As you remain in him, he will remain in you. Yes, I am the vine. You are the branches. Those who remain in me and I in them will produce much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. Type yes if you believe. You already have it. Everything that God has called you to do, he's already equipped you with what you need to accomplish it. You keep looking outwardly for something that's already within. The business idea, the strength to be a good mom, the power you need to overcome fear, it's already inside of you. You already have everything you need for victory. Believe it. His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Type 222 to affirm this to yourself. God is about to remember you. He's going to put you back together in front of the ones who try to least remember you. To remember means to put back together again. God is about to put back together the things that have been divided, abraded, and spread out in your life. He has not forgotten you. Do not forget him in the midst of your storm. Praise in advance. Blessings are coming your way. My soul waits only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. Today, be sure to go about your day with a heart full of expectation, not frustration. Sometimes we can find ourselves frustrated over our current situations, but walking around frustrated is not what God desires from us. His promises are sure to come to pass, and at the perfect time, we can be sure about that without any doubts. What God desires for us is to be living with expectancy, knowing that he's about to bless us with his promised plans of goodness. Be blessed and be encouraged. Type yes if you agree. This too shall pass. One of the greatest faith confessions you could ever make during tough times is, this too shall pass. Sometimes we can find ourselves stuck in those negative thoughts, feelings, and attitudes when we are being pressed in the storm. But we must realize two very important things. One, no storm can last forever, and two, God is with us in this storm. So we must not run out of faith before this storm runs out of rain. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. Today, remember to let go and let God. Sometimes we try to control situations that only God has the solution to. This is never a good thing, because as long as we try to control things, we will not see the results we are hoping for. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.